Hi, I'm Val Head, and this is a video series about the principles of UX animation. Today we're going to be talking about the principle of timing, which is all about how to get your animations the right speed for interaction. Timing is sometimes also called duration, and it refers to the amount of time an animation takes to complete its action. So for example, this menu slide in animation takes 0.3 seconds, and that feels like a pretty good speed for it. The menu starts opening as soon as I feel like I've tapped on it, and it closes in a way that feels like it's responding to my input as well. But if we made it take 1 second instead of 0.3 seconds, it starts to feel much too slow. We're left waiting for the menu to open before we can do anything with it, and waiting for the interface to catch up with you never feels like a good experience. On the other hand, if we set the duration to something very short, say 0.02 seconds, the menu doesn't look like it animates at all. The 0.02 second duration is so short, there's no time to visually absorb the information conveyed by the animation, or even tell that anything's animating at all. Finding the perfect timing for your animation is really more of an art than a science. The more you practice, the better you get at finding a duration that both looks and feels right. A good range to start with is to aim to keep your UI animations within 150 to 500 milliseconds. This is a pretty solid range that I find most of the UI animations I create tend to fall into. To narrow it down a little, smaller animations like button hovers, small movements, fades, and similar should be near the lower end of that range. Larger animations, ones that are big motions or cover a lot of visual ground, should have slightly longer durations. There are definitely exceptions, but I find this range a useful place to start in my own work, and I can always adjust the animation timing from there. The best way to know if you have good timing for your animation is to try it out and see how it feels. This is one place where prototyping for UI animation can be especially useful. It's a great way to iterate and test out the timing of your animations before they go to production. So that's the principle of timing for UX animation. I hope it's something you'll find useful in your own work. And don't forget to check out the rest of the series for even more tips on how animation can help you with your UX design efforts. See you next time.